Good afternoon, everyone. This is Michael Venezia, the head of the Equity Trading Division at TradeView Markets. And yet again, we're here for another webcast, this being Friday, February 27th. And once again, thank you for everyone for joining us. Uh, a little brief update about what's going on in the uh, international and uh, domestic markets. Uh, for example, the FTSE is at a 1990, this is the highest it's been since 1999. The DAX continues to good. The American uh, indices across the board uh, from the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the Russell 2000 are making highs across the board. Earnings season has finally come to an end. We had uh, Fed Chairman Yellen finish her testimony uh, yesterday, and you know the market uh, had a little bit of buying going into her testimony. The market settled and continued to make new highs as of uh, last evening, so here we are. Uh, what I'd like to do today, we've been talking about some aggressive uh, topics the last two weeks, one being uh, trading momentum sectors and another one being trading momentum stocks. But uh, now that earnings season is, o is over, I've gone through my charts and looked for certain scenarios, basically generic ones of stocks that everybody's going to know about trading gap up and gap, gap downs. So why do we like that? Okay. Uh, what we like to do through, throughout the uh, middle of the day is look for stocks, as always, with a uh, range, good price action, and volume. And the reason why I want to talk about trading gap up and gaps down is because they're already giving you right there the range. Uh, a gap up is a stock that, tr that gaps uh, above its previous day's close, hopefully a good percentage move. But I'm going to talk about three specific instances that happened uh, yesterday about stocks gapping up and gapping down and uh, how would I would handle them. Uh, once again, these are advanced trades. These are what traders look for because they give you volatility and they give you opportunity. So here are three, three examples. I'm going to use one of them, which is CYBX. Now, this is a medical device maker that's based in the U.S. As you can see, the stock was not making a year high. It was basically in a, in a decent trading range from 48 to 60 uh, the past year. But this is what happened today. Uh, they bought a European rival medical device maker, and they thought that would be accretive to earnings. But I want to tell you how we handle gap ups and gap downs. Normally, I don't make a trade until the first half an hour, and that is quite the, the opposite of what I used to do, because I used to be a very, pre, a very active uh, pre-open trader uh, and gapping on the open. But I don't really put on trades until a half an hour, and specifically with volatile stocks that are gapping up literally 15 and 16 percent. So if we follow this rule with not putting on a trade within a half an hour, you can see that CYBX uh, closed at $60 and opened at 73, up 13 and 14 dollars. But you can see here at 1030, the stock had, in, had a basically tight range and at 1030 kept trying and trying to break out new highs. Now you can consider this a contra trade uh, because this is a stock that's up nine or ten dollars, but it really only has a dollar and a half to two dollar range from the open. So this is a stock I took at a chance uh, shorting. And as you can see, I initiated the position about 45 minutes, a half an hour into the open. The stock went my way. It broke the opening price, which is usually a good sign. Tried to retest it. I added to my short and it continued to drift down and you actually got paid. I'm not saying I held, I held it down the whole way and I didn't, but the stock did go from 75 uh, to 69. So that's a good winner that uh, the stock that I waited for a, a little bit of dissemination for everything to even out. I initiated the position because it couldn't break high. Uh, it trade tremendous volume and that's a stock I want to be interested in. The next one I want to talk about is Taser. Now, I've spoken about Taser once before in one of my earlier episodes, and this stock basically ran up, if you remember, because of the Ferguson riots in America. Uh, all the police thought they were going to be wearing uh, body, body cameras and body armor or whatever it may be, and the stock was known to be a high flyer. It was once $200, by the way, if you go back. So the stock went from 13 to 19 on that, uh, based a little bit, and was a product of the strong NASDAQ. But let's look at let's what could happen today. Uh, the stock had earnings and actually didn't have a big gap down. A stock opened at 26 and had sort of a delayed reaction. Now, I wasn't going to initiate a short because it was basically a flat open, and I usually don't short stocks with big gaps down on flat opens, but I did wait. And even though the stock at this point was down about 15, 16 percent, I waited the half an hour. Uh, the stock was still below the open nicely. It was decent, had a decent range. I initiated the short right here at 23.96. Now it's not a barn burner, 
and I didn't capture the meat in the move and held it till three o'clock, but I did cover it around uh, 2290, and that was a good trade. It was an 80 cent trade on Taser, and that being once again, once we talked about, it, is that's a momentum stock, and everybody should you know should know that uh, if they follow the the stock in the general universe. So I'm not saying it's going to be a resumption tr trade. It really has to do with how the stock closes for me to take it overnight. But once again, guys, it's seven, that's something definitely we're going to have to be in tomorrow because it's traded. Uh, the second most volume is traded in a year on fundamental news and earnings. And I'll have one more stock, which is basically a small uh, instance of how when the stock gaps up, it really doesn't have a lot of range. And that's Emulex. It's a technology stock. The stock had earnings once again. Uh, it's been in a range between five and seven, as you can see here. Uh, had a nice gap up last time on earnings. But this is a stock that closed at 643. Open at eight dollars, so it is up 25 percent on a day. Now maybe this is one of the stock where the meat is out of the trade. I did it already made its move. Here's the range on Emulex. It's had a, a 30 cent range. Now this is a stock that we would can, you know, may not be the best day trading range because best day trading stock because it doesn't have good price action, but it definitely might have resumption and continuation. So. With that being said, these are three specific amp examples of gap up and gap downs. Uh, as I said before, I'm going to get way more specific. We can look at other stocks like Disney and Walmart and Boeing that had nice gaps up that are so thick and heavy that they take time, maybe a day or two, to even out and disseminate because it's so heavily owned. Uh, but they have continued their uptrend with a strong market. So. Once again, uh, the last three webcasts we got a little bit more technical, and as we go live and I set up my queries uh, on our TradeView market page, these will be uh, easy to pick out, but you know anybody can pick out a stock with good range, volume, and price action, but it's how you trade them. So until then, everyone, thank you for tuning in. Uh, as always, do your homework and trade well, and always sign on to uh, TradeView Forex for the Rhino Report to read my articles and webcasts going forward. And once again, thank you, everybody, for tuning in, and good luck.